then you started to put the, um, I'm calling them owl cameras in the room where it switches to everybody in the room and it, it rotates with where you're going, but it couldn't pick it up with the masks because everybody was coming back with the masks. So all of those things that you had to kind of go through and now it's working again, but now people are back to the, I don't want the stupid camera in my face every time I'm talking to you. I'm gonna turn that down. I don't want that little owl thing spinning around because I get super self-conscious when it lands on me and I'm wondering if I'm like, you know, my hair looks okay or if I have food in my teeth. So those are some of the things that, you know, just as a culture, we really have to get used to setting the tone for tending to people that are at home, tending to the people that are in the office, and setting a new expectation, not going back to that old expectation of what it was. Because we used to, if you remember back to the old days, and we were talking about this at lunch, there's that video that um, they had put together of the conference room where the person comes in with their dog and their dog starts barking in the middle of the meeting, and you know the person's kid comes in and starts crying, and you know they answer the phone and like you can hear it all. It's the same exact concept with the um, video that we have all this stuff going on around us that we have to get used to, are we going to still accept that? Like, as people start coming back into the office, are they going to be okay with the people at home having their dogs bark still? It's a fact of life, right? Like, that's how our, our homes are if we're going to continue that. So building that expectation and, you know, setting it and saying it's still okay to be human, like when we were at the pandemic, that, that's what it means to be truly hybrid. But I think you have to set some expectations around it. So we saw early on, everyone's camera was on. That was great. Then we said, you know what, for some of us, it's getting fatiguing to be like a disembodied head looking at disembodied heads all day. So we started to set some expectations around here are the moments where cameras on really matter. Let's all agree that during these moments, we'll all have our camera on. Here are the moments where it's optional and you get to choose. And here are the moments where we're all going to universally turn our cameras off. And calling that out, because I think what would happen is we would have meetings where um, everybody would be thinking it, but no one wanted to be bold enough to say it. So creating that culture together and saying to everyone, we need to lock arms as a team, as a function, about how we're going to use our technology together and to give feedback about where it's working and where it's not. Um, and now people will say, I know this is cameras on, I have my cameras off because my dog is on my lap or because I'm eating lunch or whatever the case may be. Um, but I think there's a big education component about etiquette and engagement in this virtual and hybrid way. Uh, but sometimes the technology is still wonky. I was a keynote speaker for a client. They had 60 people in a room. And when I was on screen, the camera was facing the whiteboard. So I was essentially presenting to a whiteboard and like hearing vague questions. And so we have to educate, I think, our clients and stakeholders to say, hey, the way we do hybrid here is X, Y, Z. Could we get your buy-in and all experiment with this together? And it takes more intention and articulation, I think, than many of us are giving it.